Hi, my name is Patrick and this specific video is to tell you how to prepare the last week of CAT. So before we go about telling you the preparation, so one thing that I feel that will help you improve your score or boost your score is being relaxed. I think more can help you improve your score than being relaxed. So a lot of people, you know, tell me what should I prepare, what should I prepare in the last week. I normally tell them to be relaxed. Okay? That's what's important. So let me give me my example and, and there are a lot of other examples of my students who have done really well by relaxing in the last few days. But let me start with my example. Okay. Uh, my, when I wrote the cat for the first time, okay, uh, that was when I was in a college. So my college had examination from Monday to Friday okay, and Sunday we had the CAT exam. Monday to Saturday as a matter of fact and Sunday we had the CAT exam. We had to actually travel to some other city and go and write the exam. So what we had is because the exams were every day, it was an important semester exam in the college, we didn't have time to prepare for CAT. Not during that week but also a week before. So almost for 15-20 days we had not even touched any CAT books. Me and my friends were there in college and we gave the college examinations. We were completely tired, no hopes in terms of getting any calls. We then went travel, booked a you know hotel where we stayed and then went and wrote the examination. When the results came out, I mean our results were exceptionally good. I mean our college, we had the best results in the re recent past. I mean I got a call from IMC, there were others who got calls from other IMs and we did really well as far as the CAT is concerned. Unexpected. And the reason it was mainly was because we were more relaxed during the exam. We had no hopes as a matter of fact because we had not touched the book for last 10 days before the CAT exam. Didn't have time because the college exams were important. And the scores that actually came in the CAT was much better than what we scored in the mocks. So our scores actually improved despite the fact that we had not touched upon it. The reason again I said was mainly because we are more relaxed in the examination. No pressure that we have to do well in the exam. No pressure that I have to score so much. Just go, follow the strategy, write the exam and come out. That's all. Paper goes back, we could always write it next year. We actually were prepared to write next year. We had thought that, okay, anyway this year is gone because of a college exams. Let's give it next year, but we'll write the cat and come out. And we did really well. Same with the CT exam. And I wrote the CT exam, which helped me get admission to Bajaj. I've written a few mocks uh, for the CT. It was a small mock test by taking, taken by some around 200 people. I was not even a top 10 in those mock test series. So there are many people better than me in that case. And uh, one night before, I mean, I had prepared for the exam, but one night before I just went to see a movie till almost one, two o'clock in the night. And next morning was the examination for CT. So I hardly had any four hours of sleep in the night. Slept at two, got up at six, went for the examination hall, wrote the exam and came back scored third rank overall in the CT exam. Much better than what I had thought of. Boost of scores. I mean, you talked of boost of scores. This is a real boost in scores. Both my CAT and CT. Because in the mocks, I never used to do well. But in the actual exam, scores really went up. Why was that? Both scenarios, I was more relaxed in the examination. I mean, I didn't have any expectation that I have to do well or have to score well. I had a strategy in place, went about, wrote, followed the strategy and came out more relaxed saying that okay if I don't get it this year I will prepare to write it next year. So I had all backup plans in place in terms of what I would do and that's the reason the boost up. I also know for the fact that when I go for the exam saying that in my second attempt of CAT when I went for the exam saying that I have to score well and I was completely boosted I didn't even get a call from the IAPS. I mean, after whole one year of preparation it went down. So imagine that uh, first year I get a call, second year after huge preparation don't get a call disappointment. But yes, I was not relaxed in the second year. So if you really want to boost your scores, one sure short way is try to be relaxed as far as possible. Easy is easy said than done. But that's what. so we will look at what we need to do in the last few days that will maybe help you relax. First of all, what you need in terms of preparation, what will help you relax and then go about it. So what is expected? I would expect that you at least do these things. Read what you enjoy, maybe for two hours per day. I, mean, I think reading is the most important thing that you should do as you come closer to the exam. The reading habit is important. Not only in terms of RC, but it definitely helps to comprehend the DILA passages and the cont, etc. So read. Apart from that, you can read one or two, three articles on topics which are from varied backgrounds. I mean, something that you're not comfortable with from aldaily.com or whichever passages. 
I mean, if you go to the blog that uh, I'll maybe put a link on the chat blog which uh, Roshal Mam has made regarding reading list. I think those are good sources for reading. You can read that. You can revise previous mocks which have been there. So whatever mocks you have solved, this is the time to revise it so that you know what are the common mistakes that you have done. So you are aware about it when you're going for the exam. That helps. Last, maybe one or two DLR sets because some of them find that if they don't solve DLR sets, they lose touch. Maybe solving a few DLR sets could help you keep in touch. This is what I would expect you to do at least every day, minimum. Even if you do so much, I think it's sufficient. What more can you do if you want to prepare more? Practice odd man out in jumble para if you want. Apart from that, maybe you can go to some questions of con. I mean, you must have solved a few past questions of con, some good questions which are there with good methods. You can go through it to just revise those methods. There's a road 200 videos. Maybe you can go to road 200 videos or something else that could help you where the good methods could, you could revise those good methods, not the formulas, the methods. You can also practice con questions, no harm. Pick up, you know, normally what you do, pick up con questions from the mocks or from whatever sources and practice. Ideally, mix questions. And if you want, solo a couple of mocks. Now, these are all option. I'm not saying it's compulsory. The first thing is compulsory. Writing mocks and doing anything else is optional depending on how you feel about it. Right? This is what you can do. If you want to prepare more, you can do these things as far as possible. Other activities, I would say one thing that you should do is plan how to prepare for the other exams. So there will be other exams coming up. IFT, SNAP, GMAT, that. Plan for the other exams. Because then that has a backup option. When you plan for the other exams, you realize, oh, I have also other options available. That helps you to some extent to relax as far as CAT is concerned. It is normally easier to score in the other exams. But yes, planning for the other exam in terms of how you prepare, what you prepare, what sources will you prepare for, may help you somewhere relax as far as CAT is concerned. You can also look at other career options. Maybe I say, okay, I'll write CAT. I may not write any other exam. I'll write CAT next year. Or maybe anything else that you want to do. You have options, look at options available and then you can look at planning for alternate activities moves your mind off CAT. Another thing that can move your mind off CAT and which could definitely help in CAT as well is reading novels. Any novel that can move your mind off the CAT examination. So read novels that you enjoy reading, novels, storybook, etc. would help. Or get into fun activities, music, cooking, anything that you feel you're good at or you want to get involved in. Maybe it's time to get involved with things that you feel is a fun activity that could help. This could help you to relax. The moment this helps you to relax, it could help you to prepare better as far as the exam is concerned. Perform. The boost in scores will come with your mind being relaxed because then you can think better in the examination, perform better in the exam. We will have workshops after CAT, I mean, IFT workshop, GMAT, SNAP, ZAT workshop. All these workshops are there which I'll be conducting in the month of December because there's so many exams which are there. If you feel, you can always contact us as such. All the best for the examination. Hope you all do well.